Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to perform a coolant system pressure test. The very first thing we need to do is squeeze one of the radiator hoses to make sure there is no pressure in the system. If your radiator hose does not squeeze, it is full of pressure. Do not open the radiator cap. Once the, we, the pressure is gone, we can remove the radiator cap and move on to our pressure testing kit, which is available at any auto parts store for rent or purchase, or you can get it on Amazon for about $40. We're going to attach our pressure tester to the radiator cap like so. If you do not have a radiator cap and instead have a coolant reservoir, watch later in the video and I will show you how to connect it to that as well. Once it's connected to the radiator, fill this system with pressure. Next, we can look around the engine bay and coolant system inlets and outlets and search for a leak. It'll look something like this. If you find a leak, either the hose has gone bad or whatever the hose is leading into has gone bad. Next, we can relieve the pressure from the testing mechanism and then remove the pressure tester and then replace the radiator cap. Next, if you have a coolant reservoir rather than a radiator cap, you're going to need to use this adapter. The procedure is pretty much the same. You need to attach the adapter to the coolant reservoir and then the pressure tester to the adapter. Once you've attached the pressure tester, you need to pressurize the system just like we did before and search for leaks. Once that's completed, you need to unpressurize the system and replace your coolant cap. On this vehicle, the leak was so extreme once a little bit of pressure had been put, uh, the hose leading into the water pump had bursted all over the place, and as you can see, it created a puddle underneath the vehicle. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit 2